I'll be showing you step by step how you can create a return policy for your Shopify store. This is a completely free way as well. So make sure you stay until the end of the video and follow along with me. So this is going to start from your Shopify dashboard here. So make sure you're on the home page. And then next, what you want to do is go to settings in the bottom left here. This is going to open up the settings sections and we want to go all the way down to the bottom and hit the policy section. So these are where you can create customized policies from your refund policies to your privacy policies to your terms of service. So what we wanna focus on here is our refund or our return policy. Shopify is a great templating tool to set this up. So if you hit create from template here, it's gonna auto generate a lot of the information you'd want to include. From there, you can go and fill in certain sections. They'll be outlined in square brackets. As we can see here, insert return address. So you wanna enter in your actual return address or return center you're planning to use. This is gonna auto fill certain information regarding the email. You can see I blurred this out here, but overall it's pretty well done overall, giving a lot of things you'd want to put in. So that's going to get you 90, 95% of the way there and your store may be dependent on particular types of products. So you want to put in extra policies if applicable to your store, but generally this should cover the vast majority of stores out there, especially when starting out. A great way to further this is to check out other Shopify stores to see what they put for the return policy. But overall that's super easy to generate there. So once you're done with that, you hit save in the top right. If you haven't yet, I'll show you how to add it to the navigation. And so you head to online store, go down to navigation here. Then what we'll do is add this to the footer menu of this demo store. So I'll hit footer menu here. Now, as you can see, I've already added it in here, but let's remove it for now so we can re-add it. I'll hit add menu item. I'll just call this return policy. You can call it return refunds, depending on the language you want to use. I can click the link section here and I can go down to policies. We can see the refund policy that was just generated. I can then hit add and I can now see it in the menu items. Let's say I want to put it to the top of the page here. I can drag it around using this six dot icon. Once you're done, you just hit save menu there and your refund policy will now be added to your Shopify store. Before I go, I want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It's going to make it super easy to calculate your profit in just one click, as all you have to do is select the date range once everything is set up, get real-time calculations, syncing seamlessly with all your different ad platforms, cost of goods sold, and transaction fees. It's going to include a bunch of different detailed analytics and metrics, giving you a really good understanding of your store so you can make better and smarter business decisions. There's a link in the description below to get access to the Shopify app listing, or you can search for ProfitCalc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left here. So this is going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.